This situation must stir up our collective conscience as a province about our commitment to securing a better future for our children. I believe we do not have to reinvent the wheel to redress this situation. Indeed, no miracles at all. All we have to do is do what we expected to do, but with a renewed vigor, commitment and enthusiasm. That is the only way we will reverse this trend of dwindling academic fortunes in this province. The government will play its role of creating an enabling environment, recruiting more teachers. Yes, we have heard about the shortage, the big story about the shortage of teachers. A very rewarding experience. Munakutana na walimu from other parts of the province. And I want to suggest, meet others from other parts of the, of the country as well. And that comparison, in fact, enhances your own capacity. Tomorrow I'm going to talk to the Law Society. I'm a member of the Law Society of Kenya, actually a member in good standing, uh, because I enrolled as an advocate of the High Court in 1979. And what we do, if you don't attend seminars and you're a member of the Law Society, you do not get your annual practicing certificate renewed. Unaulizo maswali mengi. I think you should get a situation where head teacher, if you stay in your school, now when you kutembea o kaona wengine, you get downgraded. Therefore, this is wonderful. I am sure. I am sure kuna walimu hapa wa mekuja machakos for the first time. Tango azaliwe. So you can see how, how, how rewarding this experience itself is. Therefore, we'll be dealing with a matter of shortage of teachers in our primary schools, in our secondary schools. If it was not for the fact that K, K and UT had issues with the, the Minister of Education, Minister Professor Sam Mongeri, had already received the cabinet approval to even get, you know, some of those uh, people, I mean, people have qualified as P1s and are ready to teach. But because they were not, you know, government was not able to pay through TSC all the money, they were coming in as, what was the category, Madam Mudadai? Intern teachers. I thought that idea was noble. Lakini, KNUT, I think they went to court. Mambo yote kazimamisha. Now see how our children are suffering. Because the end result is that child who gets below 250 marks. Na endi shuleni, endi form one. Transition race to secondary school in Aumea. And watoto wenyewe wanapata tabu. Therefore, I think we need to think more clearly. As head teachers, you are the chief managers of your schools. You have teachers working below you. And therefore, I think you need to be able to even learn management techniques. Because I'm sure if you relate properly to your teachers, the school, that school definitely will do better. But if you are quarreling your, head, your teachers, your assistant teachers, you cannot work with them. They also undermine you as the head teacher. I'm sure these survival tactics you'll have heard from uh, some of the people who spoke to you. Uh, suffice it to say that we have challenges within the education sector. And as a government, we are determined to do something about this. So um, recruiting of more teachers and creating appropriate learning infrastructure, including construction of new village polytechnics and schools, is really what we have to think about. The rest is up to you as school managers. In this regard, I'm pleased to know that this conference has resolved to conduct educational workshops mapped out along six regions within the province. This is commendable. And I certainly uh, know that it also has budgetary implications. So we will need to work together as a team. Uh, I therefore also want to appeal to other well-wishers, stakeholders, alumni, of uh, this fraternity and leaders, as well as constituency development committees to support this worthy cause of those workshops so that our teachers can interact and improve themselves. Teachers were very smart. Believe you me, the way you dress have actually, and I thought this is a challenge, positively impacts on your students and also your fellow teachers. You know, they say cleanliness is next to so please, Walimu, let us go back to that example of Walimu. Walimu was a real role model. 
I think we have, a lot of us have stopped being role models. As I conclude, ladies and gentlemen, and before I really conclude, um, I want to say something about where we are today. I agree with my colleagues. The time, this particular time, is a very important time in the history of our country. And I want to urge that Kenyans act with sobriety. You are role models as head teachers. 